In 2007, a professor and his student were analyzing neutron star data when they noticed something odd. A 5 millisecond radio signal stretched across a wide range of frequencies, suggesting interstellar plasma had dispersed it on its way to Earth. The dispersion was so high that it must have originated outside the Milky Way, passing through clouds of gas over billions of light years. This became known as fast radio burst. Now we found close to 40. What you heard earlier was FRB 121102, discovered eight years ago. That's the radio signal converted into audio perceptible to the human ear and slowed down. FRB 121102 is special because it was the first repeating signal found, indicating it couldn't have been a destructive event like a neutron star merger. Astronomers eventually located the FRB in a dwarf galaxy 3 billion light years away. Those bursts repeated at irregular, random intervals. So, what could those be? And does a new discovery give us any more clues? We cover scientific studies. Subscribe to join us. Last year, researchers found a new repeating fast radio burst coming from the outskirts of a large spiral galaxy 500 million light years away. A new paper from scientists in the CHIME FRB collaboration adds to this. It's discovered a regular pattern in the bursts. The signals look like this. They come in for four days, followed by a period of silence for 12 days. Afterwards, the 16-day pattern repeats. The signals during the four-day awake period vary. Sometimes they're as frequent as hourly, other times there's just one. What's causing this? The scientists write, they don't know. But the repeating pattern suggests they may come from something orbiting something else. That could explain why the signals stop for 12 days, when one object obscures another. But it still doesn't tell us the source of these signals. Most theories before this relied on one-time powerful events, like a binary white dwarf merger or exotic objects like blitzars, the sudden collapse of a supermassive neutron star. None of those repeat in the same location. Whatever it is, it must be energetic. The average fast radio burst releases as much energy as our sun in 80 years. A 2019 paper from Vikram Ravi from the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics suggests the rate of FRBs is higher than the rate of anything that can generate that much energy just once. This means, he says, that all FRBs may repeat and we just don't detect them. He thinks the more details we get on where they happen inside galaxies, we may be able to understand what's causing them. We've gotten this far without mentioning extraterrestrial life. Avi Loeb, also at Harvard Smithsonian, wrote in 2017 that some fast radio bursts could be evidence of advanced extraterrestrial technology, such as planet-sized transmitters powering interstellar probes. Loeb found that for an FRB-sized amount of energy to be generated artificially, a solar power generator twice the size of Earth would have to be used. The laws of physics permit this, even if our own technology can't do it. If this explains some FRBs, such a generator could be used to power things like interstellar light sails. To do this, the generator would need to focus a beam on the sail continuously. On Earth, we'd see a brief flash because the beam would only cross our detectors momentarily, due to the motion of our planet, star, galaxy, and theirs. Of course, the 16-day repeating FRB could have an undiscovered natural cause. Scientists don't really have any answers. Tell us in the comments what you think these are, and hit the notification bell if you like our channel. See you next time!